Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the 25th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at Google Play. You can download the app and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the uh, markets today, Asian sessions certainly mixed, uh, Shanghai flat, Hang Seng higher, and the Nikkei up 1%, US markets overnight. Relatively upbeat, okay, up one percentage points. The European markets this morning, more or less flat for the day. DAX uh, up nine, CAC up 17, FTSE up nine, so more or less flat, uh, more, more or less consolidating the gains. And let's see whether or not these gains continue. Now, we have oil prices still languishing at 49, copper into resistance at 257. Gold prices certainly moving lower on the back of obviously uh, de escalation generally and diffusion of tension geopolitically. Although, having said that, we did we did have a news report with regards to uh, Kim Jong uh, potentially saber rattling overnight and therefore risk negative. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Although, it has failed to uh, send the oil prices higher, so just bear that in mind also. In terms of economic data this morning, let's just quickly look uh, if I can recap. Today, really, we had public sector but net borrowing um, coming came in, uh, came in higher. Uh, not, not real major importance in terms of the FTSE thus far. Uh, business climate for France came in slightly stronger. We're looking forward to US data now. Red Book, uh, S and P, uh, housing price index, CPI, new home sales. Again, we'll see exactly how the market reacts there. Okay, uh, for now, let's look at the technical picture because Mr. Macron obviously winning. Market certainly seems to be holding on to those gains. Weekly chart, German DAX, I've stated already, we're into resistance and therefore I would certainly exercise extreme caution in any uh, future longs. If anything, I am on the bearish bias, okay? Daily chart, obviously, as you can see here, massive gap left behind. Certainly is uh, a scope for it to potentially close. Uh, again, we certainly seem to be plowing higher. The pivot high we've hit so far is uh, 12,470, 12,480. We'll see whether or not that can sustain itself. 10 minute chart at the moment, you have a potential here for a double top now. We'll see whether or not we can drop. This market certainly is extremely, extremely overbought, folks. It's, it'd be insane to go along at this uh, juncture, okay? Especially given the fact that we had a, the, the biggest one day gain historically ever on the DAX and the CAC, okay? CAC as well, double top, double top when we drop, okay? It's nothing more really to say in terms of the French CAC daily chart, as you can see, extremely, extremely overextended. Weekly chart of the French CAC, you can see we're into double top resistance. You'd be an idiot to really go long at this juncture, or very, very brave, unless you have inside information with any potential bullish arguments, okay? Uh, very, very hard for me to argue for any long positions at this juncture. FTSE 100 certainly continues its uh, ascent, even with oil prices languishing at the $49 level. Very, very impressive, to say the least, okay? Uh, in terms of the 10-minute um, chart, again, looking for weakness here, potential double top at 7290. Daily chart certainly has failed to hold that resistance. As I said, previous support equals resistance was at the uh, key uh, 7260 level. We've obviously surpassed that now. Uh, we are hitting that 61% resistance now, so therefore one would argue an err towards the berry side. Okay, so again, let's see how, how, how that plays out in terms of the FTSE. So certainly looking for resistance there on the FTSE 60-minute chart. Hitting that 200 MA, hitting that FIB 75%, so argue, argument certainly would be on the bearish side at this juncture. In terms of the FTSE 250, let's just quickly cross-reference it. As you can see here, daily chart is hitting that upper level resistance. Let's see if the market can stall there. In terms of uh, the Nikkei overnight, you've certainly pushed higher again. Very, very impressive on the Nikkei. Close multiple gaps above. Okay, the next real gap or real resistance is seen here. <clears throat> Taking out this resistance level as well, so 19,190, currently around that region at the moment in future. So again, looking for resistance at this juncture. Okay, in terms of Asian markets or Chinese markets, should I say Chinese markets still lackluster, still languishing at the lows, and it's impressive how the divergence between the FTSE and the European indices and then the Shanghai, very very impressive thus far. So one of them is Pinocchio, and the Pinocchio, from my perspective, is European markets, and you are looking for a retracement there. Euro uh, certainly remains afloat as well, so very, very impressive, especially given the fact, like I stated before, Euro remains afloat, okay, and therefore you are looking for risk aversion in terms of European equities, and that certainly isn't uh, feeding through, so again, looking for an argument on the downside. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs, and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.